Scripting and automation are mechanisms by which you can write a custom program to access the models stored within a Spark Systems Enterprise Architect project file. Scripting is very powerful. It allows you to create new models or to transform models, as well as access all sorts of information for custom reporting or for other document generation. This particular video is going to present a Hello World example. And it's also going to show a script that I wrote that will count the number of classes in a package. You start off with a model and go to Tools Scripting. Tools Scripting brings up a browser of folders. Now, I've created my own group here by pressing this New Group button, and I added a new normal group. This is like a folder that lets you add in your custom scripts. In order to do that, I press My Group and I press this new script button. I'm gonna use JavaScript. You can use other languages. And I'll call this one Hello World. Now, double clicking on it brings up an editor. And here is the framework for your script. And I can put in something. I'm gonna use this session output variable to do a print line. And I press the run button and it runs it. I don't see any output here, but the output is accessible through the system output window, and sure enough, there it is. Back to the scripting window, I wrote a script today to describe the contents of a package in terms of the number of, of classes. Now, looking at this model here to the right, of course, I can count each of the items in here, but I was doing some kind of change tracking and I had hundreds of elements that I needed to count and I needed an accurate count. So approximately 100 or approximately 250 wasn't good enough. Anyway, really easy to write a script here. You can see in this script, which I've generated and called describe package, some of the same session output that I used in the simple hello world package. That's over here. So session output, that's going to be your out print line if for uh, people who are familiar with the Java programming language. And it's also going to produce the final product of my script, which is to output the package name and the number of classes. Um, as you recall from the hello world, the window that was showing my output was not immediately visible. That's the system output. If I want to make the output visible, uh, this window to be displayed without having to force the user to go up to view and to select system output. Then you use a method on the repository object called ensure output visible. If some of these items like repository, session, EA aren't familiar to you, they're covered in the project documentation. Just go to help, help contents, and you'll find all of the information describing these methods that I'm presenting in this script. So the script, just like the Hello World script, is added to my group. And the way that I run it is I'm going to select the script and select what I want to run against. In this case, there is a nine table schema that I'm going to be using. And I can go into the code window here or this window and press run script and it runs the script. The eight elements are here under the package uh, emp physical data model. If I do the Oracle data model, notice there's just a diagram and a package in here, and I run that. Well, I get no classes. If I open this up, and there's one class, which is the table. And I can, I can refine this kind of count if I want it to be very specific about the table prototype uh, stereotype, for example. I could add that in. Um, over here, it's important to uh, realize that when you're working with the model, uh, one thing that I noticed was even though this um, physical data model package only has eight elements in it, there's actually another one that resides up here. So you have to watch and sometimes work iteratively through your scripting example. The scripting example in this case applies like a filter on the elements that are coming through. So it's checking and making sure that they are of type uh, class, exactly. So let me walk through the, the complete script here. We have a main, and that seems to be just a boilerplate EA technique for your script design, provide a function main. And I ensure that the output is visible, which means that the system output, the script here, is going to be displayed when I start the script. Now, if I close it like this, 
notice that there's no script window and run it it pops up the script window now contrast that with the hello world uh, application which did not have that directive and when I run it the output is there it's just I have to go and get the window displayed there's my output back to the describe package and so and there's a pair of these printf statements um, the declarations and the types these are all well documented into spark systems uh, uh, project documentation um, I get the selected tree package. There's a lot of variations for working with these tree browsers here. So any selection, now if I select a class, what this particular method does is it, it bubbles up to its nearest uh, package. So in this case, I've selected bonus. And when I hit run, it's describing the package of its, of its parent. If I go down to table one here in this uh, schema and I press it, then it's describing the uh, schema one uh, package. So that's that's something to be aware of in the API call. A few more declarations that the elements are a, a attribute of the selected package and I'm going to iterate over them and I'm going to iterate them and keep track of the number of classes and then finally that becomes the output to to what I'm running here. And I'll present the script in its uh, entirety here. So this is a pretty simple um, way of automating a task. And my own uh, need for this today was that I had about 240 or so elements and I was looking across a few different schemas trying to compare the number of, of tables in this case. Um, of course, you can always go down and, and do this. But once you have something like this, you'll build up a library in your scripting library and you will have that automated for next time.